Hi, welcome to Planet AG for you. And for this project, we're going to use some contact paper. I have an empty oatmeal container, scissors, hot glue, a marker, a flexible tape measure. Then for the finishing touches, I'm going to use a straw uh, for the handles and some beads for the drawer pull. So the American Girl uh, actual caddy measures seven and a quarter inches wide by eight inches high and six inches deep. So this canister is pretty close to the measurements and I'm going to go ahead and work with those and I've made um, some marks on where my drawers are going to be. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my contact paper and I am going to uh, wrap the canister. So I've wrapped the canister in the contact paper and I also marked my lines for where I'm going to cut out from the drawer. So since this canister is a little bit taller than the American Girl Caddy, I just more or less just uh, divided it up and made marks for the uh, four drawers uh, having the bottom drawer a little bit uh, taller. So now I'm going to start cutting out my marks. So this is what I have so far. I've cut out three of the drawers. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to cut out the bottom. I might leave it as a false drawer. But here's my drawer front and now I get to build my drawers. Okay so let me show you what I've done so far. The first thing uh, to make the drawer is I took the uh, canister and I turned it upside down on a piece of cardboard. Here I'm showing you with paper just for um, instructional purposes, but I went ahead and I drew a circle around on the piece of cardboard and I cut it out. So I had a round or I have a round piece of cardboard. And then I took the cardboard and I inserted it into one of the slots as far as it could go and then I just take on each corner I marked with a pencil because obviously we have to cut out the round edge here so I'm going to turn it the other way and do the same thing mark and mark and then you can take your ruler, line it up with the dots, make your lines, and then cut it out. So I ended up with a piece that's rounded on two edges and straight on another so it'll slide in and out. So now I just have to uh, cut out two more, uh, one for the other two drawers. Okay, so what I'm using in order to uh, build my drawer is I took some cardstock and I opted for cardstock because it would just be easier to cut instead of um, I was using uh, cardboard from a postal box and all the measurements are going to be different, but my uh, drawer openings are one inch, so I took the cardstock and I measured two inches so I could fold it over and make it a little bit stronger. And then I took it and I hot glued it to the base of my drawer. And uh, actually, it goes like this. So it'll slide in. And the only thing I need to do also is I'm going to put like a little piece of wood and I'll show you like a cleat so that the drawer will sit straight once it gets in and then now I'm just going to glue my uh, drawer front. So I glued uh, the door uh, front on the pieces and what I did actually was I took um, a different contact paper so I could uh, have some kind of contrast in the door and um, so it'll be pink and gray and what I've also done as you can tell there that um, I'm gonna go ahead and put my uh, drawer pulls on so I'm using paper clips and I'm opening them up um, I have some two different uh, pliers here uh, one to cut and one to squeeze and uh, I'm 
punctured two little holes in the front. I put the bead through the paper clip so basically what I just have to do is I come back and I cut the end and now I'll just uh, feed it through the front of the drawer. I'll show you the finished look. I wanted to point out that as I'm gluing uh, the door front uh, to the drawers I'm adding a little bit of uh, paper and I'm extending them out. Here's the uh, piece without the extended paper on because this way once I glue that little extension I take my uh, front and I glue it there and then I'm able to curve it and glue it to the other side so that the finished product is a curved uh, door front. Okay, I just wanted to show you before I finish up with the drawers um, the little pieces of wood, the cleats that are going to hold uh, the drawers uh, in place and hopefully they won't sag. So the only thing I uh, have left to make is to make uh, the little bars on either side of the caddy and um, what I've done is I've taken a straw and I've cut it to size and then I'm wrapping it in this uh, silver uh, tape and I think they use this for air conditioning so I'm going to glue that in place and then I'll be done. So there's the finished caddy. I've got the four drawers. The bottom one is a false drawer and I've put the uh, towel bars on each side of the caddy and put a little uh, paper towel there to be like as a towel. I decorated the top and all in all it was um, not that easy of a project but for play or for using it uh, as part of a set on a video um, we're happy with it so thank you so much for watching. Bye! <music>